Welcome boys and girls in the fifth class in Syrian educational platform. I hope you are fine. I'm Ms. Siham a teacher of English in Iskenderun School. Today is Tuesday, 7th of December 2021. We are going to study Unit 3, page 12, and the title of our lesson is Daily Routine. The aims of our lesson, talking about daily routine, using present simple, yes or no question, using frequency adverbs. Before we start our lesson, let's revise the clock. We have four main parts, and they are clock, half past, quarter past, and quarter two. The small fractions are five past, 10 past, 20 past, and 25. The other part of small fractions, 5, 2, 10, 2, 22, and 25, 2. We have example, look, what time is it? Look at the clock. What time is it? It's, it's, 20, uh, it's 20 past 1. It's 20 past 1. Another example. What time do you go to school? I go to school at 20 to 8. I go to school at 20 to 8. Now, we are going to start our lesson by talking about a tense. This tense is called a present simple. Now, what's the form of this tense? What are the adverbs that use with this tense? Let's learn. Would you please open your book, your, uh, your thickest book on page 13. Let's learn. Listen and look. When we have subjects, I, you, we, they, the affirmative sentence or the affirmative form, I drink milk in the morning. The negative, I don't drink milk in the morning. The question, do you drink milk in the morning? On the other hand, when we have singular pronouns, he, she, and it, the affirmative form, he drinks milk in the morning. The negative form, he doesn't drink milk in the morning. And the question, does he drink milk in the morning? Now, what's about the adverbs? What's about the adverbs? Open your books on page 12, exercise 5. Before you read, examine the chart and fill in the blanks. Before we do the examples, look at the chart carefully. We have the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And we have the adverbs, always, usually, sometimes, and never. Look, always, always that comes with five times. Always comes five times, one, two, three, four, five and usually comes only four times, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four times. Sometimes, sometimes, come th sometimes comes three times, one, two, three. Finally, never, never doesn't come at any time. Never doesn't come at any time. Now, let's do examples beside this chart. One. I get up at 6 o'clock. We have to fill the space with one of these adverbs. Pay attention. We have five times. One, two, three, four, five. We have five times. So we have to write always. Two, I do my homework in the afternoon. And we have four, and we have four times. So we have to write usually three. I chat with my friends online. Look, we have three times, so you have to write sometimes. The last one of our examples, four, I go to bed late. We don't have any time, so you have to write never. You have to write never. Now, close your, uh, close your tickets book and open your uh, workbook on page 12. Exercise one, read and match. Look, we have two parts. The first part contains 
contains verbs, and the second part contains, picture, contains, uh, contains pictures. These pictures are explaining the, mean, explaining the meaning of these verbs. Let's read the verbs. One, get up. Two, have a shower. Three, pack a bag. Four, go to bed. Five, chat online. Six, get to dress it. Seven, sit to the table. Now look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Now you have to match each verb with its correct picture. Let's do it to cover. Get up early. <coughs> Get up early. Look at the last picture. Two, have a shower. Two, have a shower. Look at the picture. Three, back a bag. Back a bag, it's picture number two. Four, go to bed. Go to bed to picture one or to the first picture. Five, a chat online. Chat online, it should be matched to this picture, picture number four. Six, get to dress it. Get to dress it, it should be matched to this picture, picture number five. The last verb and number seven, sit the table. Sit the table should be matched to picture three. Now, please close your workbook and open your ticket book on page 13, exercise seven. Choose between brackets. One, Lily never play or plays the piano at night. We have to choose play or plays. And we have Lily, so you have to underline, please. Two, does or do? They go to the swimming pool on Fridays. We have to choose do. Three, Tony always, we have Tony. Tony always have or has dinner. So you have to underline has. Four, Rita and Talim. Rita and Talin help or helps their mom in the kitchen. So we have to choose help. Five, we doesn't or don't go to school by bus. We have to choose don't. The last one and number six, does or do she play basketball? Does or do she play basketball? So you have to choose does. Now, now, let's listen to the conversation between our two friends. Let's listen. What do you usually do in the morning? Listen to answer, listen to the answer. I usually have breakfast. Now let's listen to another conversation. Our friend asks her friend, listen. What do you always do in the evening? Let's listen to the answer. I always go to bed early. Now. Open your, uh, your uh, ticket book on page 13, exercise 6. Read and, do the uh, the ta uh, read and do the tasks below. We have a ticket. We are going to read it just in order to do these two tasks. Now, listen to me. I am Mira. I love Friday. It's a holiday. I don't get up early. I usually take a shower and have a breakfast with my family. Then I tidy my room and my mother cleans the house. She doesn't ask me to help her. In the afternoon, I sometimes go, go out with my family on a picnic. We like to spend time together. In the evening, my father watches the news. My mother doesn't watch the news. She cooks dinner and does some housework. We never go to bed early on Thursdays. So we always watch a film after a dinner. In this ticket, in this ticket, 
we have only one new vocabulary, and it's picnic. What's the meaning of a picnic? Look, this is a picnic. Now, let's go back to our tickets to do the, to do the tasks. Now, you have five minutes. You have five minutes for silent reading just in order to do the tasks below. Only five minutes. Now let's do the tasks. The first task, write a true T or false if. One, or the first one. Mira likes weekends. Mira likes weekends. Is it true or false? It's a true. Now, two, she doesn't tidy her bedroom. She doesn't tidy her bedroom. Is it true or false? It's a true, it's false. Three, her mother doesn't cook dinner. Her mother doesn't cook dinner. It's false. Four, her dad watches the news. It's a true. Five, Mira goes to bed early on Saturdays. It's a true. Now the second, uh, the second task, the second task in our question B. Tell who. The first one, loves Friday. Who loves a Friday? Who loves a Friday? Surely she is Mira. Two, cleans the house. Who cleans the house? It's surely her mom. Mom cleans the house. Three, doesn't watch news. Doesn't watch news. Who doesn't watch news? She is mom. Four, cooks dinner. Who cooks dinner? Who cooks dinner? Mom cooks. Mom cooks dinner. The last one goes to bed early. Surely she is Mira. Mira who goes to bed early. Now, now exercise it on the same book, but on page 14. Put the words in the right order. We have to, to reorder these words to get a right sentence. One, evening, usually pack the, I bag my in. You have two minutes to reorder these words. Just two minutes. So, the right answer, I usually pack my bag in the evening. Let's move to the second one. Two, sometimes breakfast don't we have. On the same way, you have to reorder these words to get the right answer. To get the right answer. You have two minutes. Let's do it. We sometimes don't have a breakfast. Three, they do go on school to food. You have to reorder these words just in order to get the right question. On the same way, you have two minutes. And the right answer, do they go to school on foot? And it's a question. The last one, four, Jack, football always, every place, weekend. On the same way, you have to reorder these words to get the right sentence. Also, you have two minutes. And the right answer, Jad always plays football every weekend. Now, close your workbook and open your ticket book on page 13, exercise 6. Read the ticket and do the tasks below. In the, uh, uh, the first one, correct the underlined mistakes. In this ticket, in this ticket we, have <coughs> we have many mistakes and you have to correct them. Let's read it to cover. Listen to me. Hi, I am Emma. I'm a nurse. I usually wake up at half past six, but at weekends, I not get up early. I brush my teeth and have a breakfast. Then I get dressed and go to work. I doesn't have a car. So I go to hospital with my friend, Sally, in her car. Sally and I start work at eight o'clock. We help doctors and take care of sick people. We always have lunch break at one, at one o'clock. 
We go back home at five. I take a shower and Sal uh, I take I take a shower, and Sally sits at the table. Then we have dinner at half past six. In the evening, I watch TV and Sally read a book. We go to bed at ten. At ten o'clock. What does you do in your day? These uh, in this text, the underlined words have mistakes. Have have mistakes. You have to correct them. Let's do it to cover. The first one wakes up. Wakes up is wrong. The right is wake. The second one not get. Not get. It's wrong. The right is don't get. The third one I doesn't have. Doesn't have is a mistake. And the correct is don't have. Four starts, starts. The right answer is start. And five, we helps. We helps is, is wrong. The right is help. Six, there is no number six in the ticket. Seven, and Sally Reed. Sally Reed is a mistake. The correct answer reads now the last one what does what does you does is a mistake and the right is what do now the second task in our question fill in emma's daily fill in emma's daily routine we, after finish reading uh, the text we are going to write about uh, emma's daily routine what does she do in the morning what does she do in the afternoon and what does she do in the evening? Let's start. What does she do in the morning? In the morning, the first thing wakes up. Second, brushes her teeth. Another thing has breakfast. Another thing gets dressed. Another thing goes to work. The last thing she does in the morning helps doctors. What does she do in the afternoon? The first one has lunch. The second thing goes back home. Now, what does she do in the evening? Takes a shower. Also has dinner. Also watches TV. The last thing she does in the evening goes to bed at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Exercise seven on the same page. Write about your daily routine. What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening? It's a homework and it's up to you to write anything you like. By this, we finished our lesson today. I hope everything was obvious. Thank you and goodbye.